Hello all YouTubers, this is Canon XSI79 doing this video on my CNMini spawning. As of right now, this has been going on for about, I want to say about 35 minutes, and you can see that the water is completely cloudy. My water was crystal clear just 35 minutes ago. Uh, I did some research on this, I guess in 2005. They successfully uh, reproduce sea anemones in an aquarium. This is a very rare um, occasion in aquariums. So I'm kind of happy this is going on in my aquarium right now. You can see how much is releasing out there. I mean, even my star is out, man. Everything's have a pencil urchin there. My pulp senias are completely closed up. It's like almost like they had too much. The one on top is going for it again. But I mean, it's really releasing a lot of sperm into the tank. Like I said, uh, this is the first time that this has happened in my uh, 10 years of uh, my aquarium saltwater hobby. Um, I had reef for a long time and then I went back to fishes and now I'm going back to reef and this is the first time this has happened. I have this anemone here. There's another bubble tip anemone. It's right in there. It was it was out and it's kind of moving around I'm trying to find a spot. My chiller is turned on right now. I don't know why. Um, probably because of the metal halide. It's pretty, it gets pretty warm. But I mean, this is pretty fascinating for me. This is the first time this has happened. Um, I'm gonna post this video up and tell me what you guys think, man. This is pretty cool. Check it out, man. It just keeps releasing and releasing. I mean, at this point, the water is very cloudy. Yesterday, I had two of my uh, turbo snails do the same thing, and that went on for like two hours. They were first releasing plumes. You can follow that up in one of my videos on the turbo snails. Um, I want to add a note to that that right after that happened, they kind of stopped the pulsating pulsation action it was doing, and uh, later on it became like a like a trickle, kind of like what this is doing right now. I mean, that's a lot right now coming out of there. Let me see if I get a side angle. So you can see how much you can see it looks almost like a little fire is going on in there. So hopefully, man, this is very successful. And I have a bunch of anemones growing in my tank, man. That'd be pretty cool. Actually make some money off of them. Sell them. Um look at that. This tank, if I would have videotaped it when it first it was doing this, I mean it was water was super clear. Uh, I want to add two notes. Uh, I never had a refugium. Uh, my night rate uh, levels have been the lowest I've ever had them. I got them almost down to nothing. And I think it's a lot of this has to do with the uh, refugium. I have macroalgae in there. I have two mangrove trees growing in there. And I recently added the, the two. Uh, metal halide, I mean two, I'm sorry, one metal halide, and I have uh, complex fluorescence, which is another 250 watts. Right now, I'm actually not using the whites, I'm just using the uh, halide and the blue uh, lights only. There's another anemone down there. He's out in the morning, comes completely out. It's that pencil or chint that my friend got me from uh, uh, Caltech, I think she works at. Anyways, I just want to do this video so you guys can see what's going on, man. To you guys that are following my videos, um, you guys can check this out. Uh, add a note, this, this right here had nudie branches, snails all over it. Um, somebody told me to... Uh, Freshwater dip it and just kind of pluck them out with the tweezers. 
and I dip that and that coral now is doing pretty good this coral here ha it was doing good till that um, I don't know if you guys saw the video where the sea hair got sucked up in a power head and had to do an emergency water change and ever since then I can't find this, I can't find this coral to go back to its original sites beautiful coral I, I don't know I don't know what happened to him he doesn't want to recover and like I said this one right here I think is just adjusting to the new metal halide but everything else is doing pretty much this coral here the unfortunately the clownfish keeps hosting it and it uh, hasn't really opened up to its full potential plus I've been moving them around trying to find a spot for him see which way it opened and I had made the mistake of putting this guy back in there once it was open and it doesn't leave him alone so I'm gonna have to catch this guy and put him back in my uh, refugium area in my sump down below I have a 30 gallon sump so he'll be fine down there for a while to find a I bought him the anemone and he's not he's not using it so uh, check him out man it's stretched out right now that's about maybe I will say stretched out maybe five inches there it's a good size coral I mean anemone sorry so anyways, this is a short video I want to just keep you guys posted tell me what you guys think leave a comment and it will be greatly appreciated, guys. Peace.